Did you know that all clownfish are born males and they have the ability to switch their gender? Yes, you heard it right. This magical transformation is just one of the many fascinating facts about these vibrant and vivacious creatures of the deep sea. Imagine a world bursting with color and life. That's where our friend the clownfish lives. Their bodies are a brilliant orange, splashed with white stripes, and each one is as unique as a fingerprint. You might even recognize one famous clownfish, a little guy named Nemo, who swam into our hearts and showed us the courage of these tiny creatures. Clownfish, also known as anemone fish, are not just about beauty and bravery. They are also full of surprises and quirks that make them one of the most interesting species under the sea. Now that we've met our friend the clownfish, let's dive deeper into the ocean to discover more about its life. Imagine living in a house that protects you from danger, just like the clownfish does in its home, the sea anemone. Now you may be wondering, where in the world does a clownfish live? These colorful characters reside in the warm waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans including the Great Barrier Reef and the Red Sea. They prefer shallow seas where sunlight dances on the coral reefs and sea anemones, their unique and vibrant homes. But wait a minute, what's so special about a sea anemone? Well it's not your ordinary underwater plant. Sea anemones are actually predatory animals, akin to jellyfish, armed with venomous tentacles. Doesn't sound like the coziest place to call home, does it? But for the clownfish, it's perfect. Here's where it gets interesting. The clownfish and the sea anemone share a symbiotic relationship, a fancy term for a partnership where both parties benefit. You see the clownfish has a slimy mucus layer that makes it immune to the anemone's sting. It's like having a superpower. This immunity allows the clownfish to safely nestle into the anemone's tentacles, a safe haven from predators. In return for this safe abode, the clownfish plays the role of a feisty bodyguard. It fiercely defends its home from anemone eaters, keeping its spiky refuge safe. The clownfish also gobbles up leftovers from the anemone's meals, keeping the living space clean. Talk about a win-win situation. This unique relationship between the clownfish and the sea anemone is a vibrant demonstration of how creatures in the ocean adapt and survive. It's also a testament to the fascinating diversity of life beneath the waves where even the smallest fish can find a safe place to call home amidst the vast blue expanse. So next time you think about an ideal home, consider the humble clownfish. It's found a way to live in harmony with one of the sea's most dangerous creatures, turning a potential threat into a protective ally. Living in a sea anemone sure has its perks, doesn't it? But what does our friend the clownfish like to eat? If you thought pizzas and burgers were a treat, wait till you hear what the clownfish loves to munch on. Ever wondered what keeps the clownfish's vibrant colors so striking? Well it's all thanks to their underwater diet. These tiny swimmers have a smorgasbord of delicious sea treats to choose from. They particularly enjoy feasting on small invertebrates that can't outrun their swift and agile movements. This includes tiny creatures like zooplankton, small crustaceans, and even tinier fish but wait there's more. The clownfish also relish a good algae meal. Yes, you heard me right algae. That green slimy stuff that you see on rocks and in fish tanks. That's a clownfish's version of a salad bar. You see, algae forms a major part of the clownfish's diet, and they love to graze on it throughout the day. Kind of like how some of us snack on chips or popcorn, only healthier. Now here's the fascinating part. The diet of the clownfish not only fills their tummies but also contributes to their vibrant color. That's right. The carotenoids found in the algae and invertebrates they consume are responsible for their bright, eye-catching hues. Think of it as nature's own paintbrush, coloring the clownfish with the food they eat. And there's a bonus, the algae and invertebrates are rich in nutrients providing the clownfish with all the energy they need for their busy, swimming lives. So, not only do they look good but they also feel good. It's a win-win situation. So the next time you see a clownfish remember, it's not just their funny antics that make them stand out. It's also their unique, colorful diet. They are what they eat, after all. Who knew that eating could be so colorful? Let's now swim along to learn about the clownfish's social behavior. Just like us, clownfish love to hang out with their friends, but their social life is a tad bit different from ours. In the vast expanse of the ocean, clownfish live in communities, each centered around a particular sea anemone. Now, you may be wondering, how do they decide who's in charge? Well, clownfish have a very clear pecking order, and it's all based on size. You see, the biggest clownfish in the group is the female. She's the boss, the top dog, or should we say the top fish. 
She's in charge of the entire community and makes all the big decisions. Then there's the second largest clownfish who is the male mate of the boss lady. All the other clownfish in the group are smaller males. Now, here's a quirky fact. Clownfish are what we call sequential hermaphrodites, which means they are born male, but can change their sex when necessary. If the boss lady, the biggest clownfish unfortunately leaves the group or passes away, the next in line, the biggest male, changes his sex to become the new female leader. Talk about stepping up to the plate. But how do clownfish communicate, you ask? Well, they use popping sounds, chirping noises, and body movements to talk to each other. By doing this, they can warn each other of danger, defend their territory, and even show submission to the bigger fish. It's like they have their own secret underwater language. And remember, clownfish are very protective of their homes. They work together as a team to guard their anemone against intruders. Yes, these little fish are quite the team players. They understand that there's strength in numbers, and that together, they can keep their home safe and secure. Isn't it fascinating how these little creatures have their own unique social structure? Now let's learn about how long they live. Living in the ocean, surrounded by friends and family, the clownfish enjoys a long, happy life. Isn't that something we all dream of? A life full of joy, companionship, and vibrant colors. Now, let's dive a bit deeper into just how long these delightful creatures can stick around for. You see, clownfish have quite an impressive lifespan, especially when compared to other small fish. In the wild, these brightly hued swimmers can live up to a whopping 10 years. That's a decade of darting in and out of anemones playing tag with the currents and soaking up the sun's rays as they filter through the water's surface. But wait, it gets even more incredible. When given the right care and environment, clownfish can surpass their wild cousins by living even longer in captivity. It's not unheard of for these fish to reach ages of 15 to 20 years when they're kept in well-maintained aquariums. That's the equivalent of around 100 human years, so what's the secret to their long lives? Well, it's a combination of factors. Clownfish are hardy creatures capable of adapting to various conditions. Their symbiotic relationship with anemones provides them with protection from predators, and their diet of small crustaceans and algae keeps them healthy and robust. But there's also a bit of luck involved. Just like us, clownfish face challenges in their lives. They have to avoid predators, find food and deal with the changes in their environment. Yet despite these hurdles, they manage to thrive and live out their colorful lives to the fullest. So, there you have it. The clownfish, a creature that not only brings a splash of color to our oceans but also lives a long, fulfilling life. It's a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life beneath the waves. That's quite a long time to enjoy the beauty of the ocean, isn't it? Now are you ready for a little quiz about our friend the clownfish? It's time to put on your thinking caps and see how much you remember about the clownfish. We've swum through their colorful habitats, dived into their diets, and discovered their social behavior. Now let's test your knowledge. Question 1. Can you recall what a clownfish's home is called? Is it an anemone, a coral, or a shell? Moving on to question 2. What does a clownfish munch on for lunch? Is it plankton, small crustaceans, or seaweed? And for our final question, how long can a clownfish live? Is it 10 years, 20 years, or maybe even 30 years? Remember, there's no pressure. This is all about having fun while learning. Take a moment, think about it, and when you're ready, check the answers in the description box below. Well, that was fun. Keep exploring, keep learning, and remember, just like the clownfish, always stand out with your unique colors. Until next time.